Good morning. This is Daily Office for Friday, July 9th, and we're glad you could be with us. I'm Pastor Bruce Mowry. And I am Melody. And uh, we're glad to be here, and we're going to be reading from Psalm 66. Yeah, Psalm 66. It's a really good one. It's uh, for the director of music. It's a song and a psalm, not to get mixed up. <laughs> Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name and make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land and they passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules over his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid our burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads and we went through fire and water, but you brought us back to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear all of you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. These are the words of God for the people of God and all God's people said. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God, especially for getting us out of the muck and mire. <laughs> Well, this is a Thanksgiving song. How could you tell? I mean, it was all about praise. Um, and they don't think it was for any special occasion. It was just sort of a general, everyday application psalm. I don't know. He said, let me tell you what he's done for me. But that's just what it said. It wasn't for a holiday or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. I think it was just he was trying to get people to, to, you know, the ones that are down and out at the moment. Sunday's coming. Yeah, and, and if you look at it, there's like three sections. The first section is sort of on creation and how great God is. And then he sort of goes into what all God has done for the Israelites. And then he ends with uh, praises of, of what God has done for him personally. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I thought of when I read this psalm was, it was a witness. <laughs> It's something that, that we all need to be doing. It was his way of, of talking about God to other people, and, and he did it through praise. And I think, you know, that is so great. And, and we need to do the same thing with Jesus and our church. Um, and if we praise God and tell people about it, how God has been for us, how God has helped us through, um, you know, that might attract some people to come back to church or, you know, at churches, um, a lot of times you, you hear people talk down churches or they, they complain about this going on or that going on or about the pastor and upset about this or that. But if you think about it, is that going to attract anybody to church? No. No. I think we need to say, oh, boy, that was a good sermon or we, Jake played a, a fantastic trumpet solo this week Amen or, or uh, the, the, the organ sounded so great or the praise band was so good. Well, let's say positive things. You know, I really got something out of today's service. And, we could say that every Sunday, actually. Yeah, but, but praise is so important in our witness. And I think it, it's a witness that we all need to have. And uh, we need to be telling Jesus' story. It's the yes, gospel, good news. And, and when we become Christian, that's part of our responsibility is to spread the good news, to tell other people about the good that, that Jesus has uh, done in our lives. Okay. I'm sorry, I was not, I wanted to talk for a little minute. Um, and maybe it's the preacher's wife and me coming out because I do used to hear, oh, you know, the preacher was off this Sunday. 
I think if we pray about it before we come to church, please God, let me get something out of the service. Whether you like the pastor or not, or whether you agree with all that we are for, um, the love of Jesus and the love of God is still here. It will always be here. And um, you can just, you, you can get something out of every single service that you attend. Something positive. Um, yes, yeah, something positive. God will always put something on your heart if you let him. That's all I wanted Amen. to say. I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay. So we're going to sing for you then. Yeah. the stories of Jesus I love to hear. The things I would ask him to tell me if he were here. Seems by the wayside, tales of the sea. Stories of Jesus tell Gracious God, help us with our stories, uh, times that God has helped us, times that yes. uh, we have felt Jesus alive in our lives, and, and may we tell the story of Jesus to others, and, and praise God for our church and the, the people of the church and all the ministries that we have going on, Lord. We've got a lot to praise you about, and we just thank you for all that you do for us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.